Hello everybody, it's Saturn Productions back with a new theory on the sister location cutscene that is triggered if you beat Golden Freddy mode. It's pretty complicated, and some of it relies on guesswork. Also, this theory is mine, but it uses parts from game theory's massive sister location theory. Just bear with me. Excuse the pun. Father. It's me, Michael. Now in the cutscene, a lot was revealed. A new character, Michael. Now it's pretty obvious that Michael's an Afton, like really a Afton, who is the father and also the father to the green-eyed girl who possesses baby and the crying child. Here's the theory. William Afton is a murderer. He just is, and he kills because he wants to. He uses a springlock suit to lure the children in. Then, he stuffs them into the suit to kill them. But one of these days, the springlock failure happens, but William lives. He is scared, but he lives. The Five Nights at Freddy's book, Silver Eyes, talks about this. Next, the events from Five Nights at Freddy's 4 take place. William's son, the crying child, was thrown into Fredbear's mouth by his other son, Michael Afton. Crying child dies. Now, this is where you must believe Game Theory to believe me. Click on the video in the description to see their video. William Afton now makes the sister location robots to collect children to experiment on. He wants to learn how to fuse souls into animatronic suits, but he needs test subjects. I will put you back together. Notice how the font for that line is in a different color than when Fredbear speaks. Yes, William Afton is saying that to his son. He wants to fix his son, but he can't do it alone. She can dance. She can sing. She's equipped with a built-in helium tank. Trim-fleeting. Just listen to the voice at the beginning cutscene of Sister Location. This voice is William's. It doesn't sound very youthful either. He's growing old, and he needs help to save his son. Hence comes Michael. Michael Afton takes a job at Circus Baby's Pizza World to fulfill his father's last wish, to collect kids for his father to experiment on. Michael, not William Afton, is the character you play as in Sister Location. And Michael is scooped at the end of the game, and he becomes entered. But not just that. Like the dead kids in Sister Location who possessed the animatronics that they were killed by, Michael possesses Ennard. But in the process of collecting, William's daughter, the green-eyed girl, dies by Circus Baby. Despite his advice to stay away from the animatronics, she goes to Circus Baby anyway and dies. Now, on to the new minigames. We see Michael Afton, aka Purple Guy, walking down the street, then promptly barf out Ennard's body. Then we hear Baby's voice. You will not die. But he can't die, because he's possessed Ender's body. He is still alive. This is not the end. Well, after that, I think Ender's body reunites with Afton's skin. It would be weird just to see a robot strolling around, so it needed some skin to live as normally as a flesh bag with an animatronic suit stuffed inside could live. Now, time passes. William grows older, and he's very close to solving the soul problem. Then, he fused the soul of his son into an animatronic suit. He goes to work, but then Afton dies. The problem is not solved. His daughter died, and his daughter is still dead, and he must save her. So on William's deathbed, Michael promises to save her. And, uh, I put her back together, just like you asked me to. He's talking about the springlock suit, used to kill the children needed for the experiment. And now it's Michael's turn to use it. They were all there. They didn't recognize me at first, but then they thought I was you. Michael successfully puts William's daughter back together, but all the dead kids' souls are still there. Michael breaks the suits, hoping that will destroy the souls. It does not, and the souls come and attack Michael. He tries to hide in the springlock suit, but the springlocks fail, and he is trapped inside. The light never fades from his eyes, because it can't. He has possessed Eddard's body and cannot die. He cannot free himself. Michael Afton is Springtrap. Something is wrong with me. I should be dead, but I'm not. Well, he should be dead. Scooped and suffering several Springlock failures, it's obvious that he should be dead. He can't die because he is possessed. But he wants to die because he has been through so much. But he just can't. I'm going to come find you. Michael wants to go find William Afton, who is dead. Michael wants to die. There was a story of Purple Guy, aka Michael Afton. He is Springtrap and he is Crying Child's brother. 
Thank you for watching everyone, I really enjoyed making this theory and expect some more 5 minutes of footage and more animation very soon. Just hit the subscribe button to see it all!